What you doing? Hey! <laughs> Is it Christmas yet? No, not yet. Aw. Almost. We got the hats though. Yeah. Why is yours on top of your head? Like you gotta put it on. Cause it's it's uh it's street. Okay, gangsta Santa. But what's going on guys? Today we're doing a funny video with Dave Matt Smith. Woo! What's up? I'm going through puberty. You already know we did a video on his channel. Links down below with his Instagram. So yeah, today we're doing a funny video. We are reacting to people who got what they deserved. Oh, yes. And who exactly got what they deserve? You. No, I still haven't gotten what I deserve. So. Mm -hmm. These are people who done messed up and karma bit them in the butt. And don't forget to comment down below what you want for Christmas this year. Yeah, or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate, yeah. Yeah, I want Starbucks gift cards and candy. Mm. What do you want? Well, I want <sighs> racism to end. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, I think we're ready. So let's do this. Let's go. Boyfriend cheated on me, so I washed his PlayStation. <laughs> That's so nice. That ain't even a PlayStation 4, girl, please. How can you tell? I can't. I it's can't. a box. Because <laughs> I'm an Xbox man. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Really? You yeah. are? Yes, I'm an Xbox man. Good. Comment below if you have a PlayStation. Yeah, that's why you don't cheat on your girl. This is what happens. You can't even prove that I did nothing, girl. You can't prove that. You ain't got video. You ain't got photos, girl. You ain't got text messages. You better watch your Xbox. Girl, if you gonna wash the PlayStation, at least wash my controllers too. I mean, dang, I mean, get you know, the, a lot of dirt gets in there, a lot of sweat, blood, and tears get in there, so you know, you gotta get in the nooks and crannies, you know what I'm talking about? You want her to break everything? No, no, I don't, <laughs> no. I mean, they really do need to make the PlayStations more water resistant, you know, or make them, make them waterproof. You know, I'm trying to play my PlayStation underwater. Are you? No. It's not gonna work. I can't swim. You're gonna get beat by a goldfish. No, not today. I get beat by Nemo. I just found a dusty box full of marbles under my bed with John Morris written on the inside in a 10 year old's handwriting. And I asked my dad why this thing was under my bed. And he said, that kid stuck my head in a toilet in sixth grade. So my older brother broke into his house and stole his prized box of marbles. <laughs> so you just confessed to a felony? Is that what's going on? Man, I'm about to call the cops right now. See, that's what siblings are for, breaking into houses and stealing stuff for you. Man, I don't know if you guys ever played with marbles, but geez, was that a late game back in the day? Was that... I loved marbles. You played marbles? I mean, I didn't, I don't know what marbles means. I just had marbles and I thought they were pretty. Oh, I played with silly putty and Legos. I'm pretty sure I swallowed some just because they were so shiny. <laughs> that explains a lot. What? I mean, that's what John Morris gets. They were his prized possession, so they took them. <laughs> Geez, you can't just be breaking into people's houses and stealing their prized possessions. What? What is this, Compton? What? What? <laughs> Ladies, do you have a crush on me? Zero percent said yes. Well, <laughs> twenty-three votes. Yeah, that's sad, man. I mean, I'm, I don't even know how to pronounce this dude's name. Nakakonke, <laughs> Nakakonke Dubi. <laughs> that's how you pronounce it, right? Let me know in the comments down below. I have no idea. What language is that? That's African. Is it? Yes. <laughs> I think, it's Swahili. Probably not, I don't know, nobody knows. 100% said no, and that's the final results. <laughs> Poor dude, I mean, you know, hey, hey, there's a lot of fish in the sea, okay? Mm. Yeah, there's also a lot of trash. Yeah, there's a lot of trash, a lot of fish, and 23 of those fish don't like you, bro. I'm sorry, man, it's, it's okay, could have been worse. When's 22.57 p.m.? It's military time, so you subtract it by 12. Really, that's yes. how you do it? Yes. I would always just count from 12 up to the to the number because <laughs> I never knew how to do just it. Just subtract 12. So it would be... 11. What? <laughs> Bruh. 10. Yes, it would be 10, 57 p.m. Good job. <laughs> Stay in school. Public education. That's a homeschool education. No. We all know you was homeschooled. No, I wasn't. Yeah, we know the socially awkward skills you got. Public school. Homeschool. Good morning to whomever has been enjoying my coffee creamer all week. Surprise, you've been drinking my breast milk. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Maybe they did enjoy. What does that mean? I don't know. Ew. I don't know. Maybe somebody like, what, babies like breast milk, so why can't adults like it? I don't know. I don't discriminate. Because it's nasty. Yeah, that's kind of nasty, but. It's organic, though. So no worries. <laughs> what? What? I don't think that makes a, a difference. I don't think they're going to be drinking breast milk like, Oh, wait, is it organic? Oh, thank goodness it's organic. Well, they don't know it's breast milk. <laughs> I 
Ew. What are you doing? <sighs> Ow. That's why you don't steal people's food. Even if you put a note and someone takes it, it's messed up. What are they supposed to put in their coffee? Bring your own. It's supposed to have it black? Yes. Like me? I like black coffee. No, you don't. Motorcycle parking. Yep. Uh, that's uh, dang. You just gotta block in the dude just because what the car took your motorcycle parking spot. Yeah, it's there for a reason. You he could have squeezed in right in between those cars. Yeah, but then something's getting scratched. Yeah, but like if somebody blocks my car with their motorcycle, guess what? I'm just gonna whoosh, knock their motorcycle over, and then I'm I'm on my way to the therapist. Do you enjoy fights? You enjoy getting in arguments with people? <laughs> well, I would look around first. You look around first, make sure, you know, nobody looks like a motorcycle rider, and then make sure if nobody's around, then you just whoosh, you kick their motorcycle over, move it out the way, and then you're good, you Gucci man. How many felonies have you committed? Five. <laughs> this week. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, but we don't want to talk about that. I mean, that, I guess that's good that they have motorcycle parking that's dedicated to them. Because a lot of times, motorcycles, they'll just park in car parking spots, and that's annoying, and you can't see it. When you're driving through, you think it's a spot, but then you get closer, and they see a motorcycle's there. Or it's like this tiny little mouse car that's like half the size of a normal car. You get your hopes up, and it's like, what the heck? Just got knocked off my bike by a taxi, and then he drove away. Suppose you could call it a hit and run, unless he left this behind on purpose. His license plate. Ooh. Ooh, we going to jail. I mean, my defense just would have been, oh, I hit you and then I had to drive uh, to get some help. I drove off so I could uh, get to the hospital and find somebody to, to help you. And I've been looking all this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you've been looking for three weeks? Yeah. <laughs> Why is it labeled in real life? <laughs> oh, yeah, because, you know, it's life. You got hit in real life. <laughs> you got hit in real life. I mean, you know, at least they're okay. I mean, it looks like they're okay, so I don't know. But the way to do it, if somebody even taps you with their car, you just, oh, ow, oh, my knee, oh, gosh, oh, the pain, oh. I got, like, tipped by someone's mirror on the side because I was walking on the side of the road with my mom and there were a lot of potholes in the in the road because it was bad and they tried to dodge it mm. and they got really close to me and then they went Boop! Well, you should have sued. I didn't get the plate. <laughs> well, yeah, but you still like, I don't know, you go to the local stores, you ask for the security camera footage. It was on then, a nature walk. Well, you need to get hit by a car in public. On the freeway? Yeah, on the freeway. <laughs> Or like, you know, in a residential area or somewhere where they got cameras. How about that? Parking enforcement. Mm-hmm. Looks like the parking enforcer got a parking ticket. That's what you get. All of them, a lot of them, they like to give me tickets. I don't know why. I park where it's legal. No, okay, I don't. don't. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you get a ticket. Yeah, but I mean, what, what? I was only there for like 5, 10, 15, 20, 35 minutes. It's not mm. that long. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't get your coworker, Jerry, a coffee in the morning and then he gives you a ticket. So your own colleague gonna give you a parking ticket? That's sad. Yeah, seriously, I That's mean. That's the only person that can give him a ticket. Yeah, but I mean, it's not even a red zone on the curb. You could, you, he could park there legally. It's probably handicapped. He probably gave himself a ticket. He's like, man, I'm horrible, I'm a horrible person. I cheated on my wife. Or his so meter ran out. <laughs> yeah, his meter probably ran out, but you know, that, that's sad. What's the point of being a parking enforcer if you can't even get out of a parking ticket? Well, you gotta follow the law if you're gonna be ticketing all these other people like a hypocrite. Yeah, I know, it's horrible. Oh well, it's okay, man. Just, hey, hey, just park legally and then you're gonna be okay. No, you won't. I don't know. What if they had like parking enforcement Ferraris or something? Be a parking enforcer pulling up in a Ferrari. They would definitely catch everybody trying to speed off. They'd be like, where are you going? <laughs> Zero to 60 in one Bet. second. Dear sister, as revenge for stealing my $20, I have hidden your project in one of these folders. Dang. And guess what? All of these folders have three subfolders. This should teach you not to steal from me. So have fun trying to find your project. If there's a lesson to be learned here, it's don't steal from your big brother with warm regards and hateful loathing and vengeance. Your loving brother, go die. Dang, man. <laughs> I've never seen so somebody this salty just for, from $20, gosh. I mean, to be honest, if they didn't even rename the project folder, you could just search it and then you can find it easily, so. But you know what, maybe the brother renamed the project file, so she's actually gotta go through all of them. He's very dedicated. But hey, when you're struggling, $20 is a lot, so it might mean a lot. 
Yeah, but during that time that he like put together all these folders and subfolders, he could have earned another twenty dollars. So how? Maybe by I don't know, dog walking, mowing lawns. Yeah, but that maybe. takes effort. Working at Starbucks. <laughs> yes, it takes effort. This took effort to write all this. Jeez. I'm proud of this guy. I mean, that's kind of cool. That's different. I haven't heard, I haven't seen anybody do this, but this, these are the type of punishments I'd give to my children. <laughs> I'd make them try to find their projects or try to find their like, you know, their files or their, their photos and like subfolders and stuff. And yeah. Well, you could just open them all at once. No, it's too much work. No, you just shift arrow, highlight them all, enter, and then it opens There's them. There's a faster way. You just control A and then you highlight them all. Well, you know what? There are other ways. Just because no. it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's wrong. What does that mean? That means you're different. Um, Dang. Well, I'm assuming this person parked in a handicapped spot and they were not supposed to park in a handicapped spot. So, they put a bunch of sticky notes with a little handicap sign on it. Gosh dang. He's gonna get so many paper cuts trying to get all that off. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Actually, you could probably get it off pretty. If you just get your car washed, you know, go to the car wash, then it'll, it'll probably like blow all those sticky notes away. Nah, cause then all the adhesive sticky stuff is gonna still be on there. You gotta wash it off. You gotta get all nasty. Or just pay somebody to like wash it, to hand wash it, and then they'll, they'll scrub off all them sticky notes. That's a lot of sticky notes. And that's a lot of people watching this dude who's not handicapped parking a handicapped spot, <laughs> jeez. I mean, not gonna lie, I did it like once in my life, just cause no one ever parks there and there was no one there, so I just, Parked just really quick, and then I ran inside and ran back out. So it was your fault. Don't, no! I didn't do anything wrong! <laughs> well, I'm mentally handicapped. Okay, you can park in a handicapped <laughs> spot. Daniel Jones, a girl I screwed over once upon a time, now gives my number to all the guys she's not interested in at the bars. Well played. And then the message said, slide <laughs> through, where y'all, what up? <laughs> wow, yep, 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 you don't want that. I mean, bro, you gotta change your number, man. That's a good idea. Every time you, if you mess up, don't you, if you mess with me, that's what's happening. No, no. Billy, Jimmy, what's his name, all them guys at the bar, they're gonna be texting you. There ain't no Billy's or Jimmy's up at the bar. <laughs> Maybe no, like in not. Texas. I mean, you know, it could have been worse. Dang, but he done texting you at 1251 in the morning. Who actually says slide through? You really think that's gonna get you a girl? Yeah, be like, come on, girl, slide on through. You know what I'm saying? Slide through. Like, I'm sliding to your messages. You know, you feel me? You feel me knocking? You hear me knocking? Let me in, girl, because I'm Stop right here. Stop talking like that. What? I hate it. That's how I talk. It's not attractive. Playa. Stop. Slide through. No. Fine. This one time when I was seven, I thought that I could talk to trees because I had no friends. And I used to sit by Sounds them. Sounds like you. I still have no friends. And I used to sit by them and say things, and one day I was talking to my tree friend called Kevin, and this girl went up to me and said, are you talking to that tree freak? And I started crying and hugged onto the tree, and while she was laughing, one of the branches fell on the girl's head. Thanks, Kevin. Dang, is, is the girl okay? I, I guess. Uh, <laughs> geez, that, that's kind of bad. If a branch falls on your head, that's, that's not good. That happened to me once. My dad was cutting up a tree and we were like picking up the, the logs and then he didn't tell me it was coming down and then it fell on my back and it was like a big branch. Oh. I was wow. fine though. I was just like, ah! And I was like a Superman and I held it up. It was an accident. It's not abuse. He didn't know I was standing there. And He's then like, as it was falling, he was like, Sarah! Sarah, can you stand right there? A little to the left. A little more, there you go. Oh, timber, oh no. It was an accident, I didn't get hurt. And that's it for reacting to people who got what they deserve. Mm-hmm, hopefully one day you get what you deserve. Parking in that handicapped spot. I'm mentally handicapped, okay? So it counts. Yeah. They didn't say physically, okay? It doesn't say physically handicapped on the thing. I mean, it shows it in a wheelchair, yeah, but um, it physical, doesn't physical, say it. It's physical. Anyway. <laughs> but yeah, again, don't forget to check out his video. Links down below with his Twitter. Go stalk him and Instagram. Check it out. But yeah, that's it. So thanks for coming. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you beautiful people next time. Peace. Peace.